they are all myself lakshmi r nair working as associate professor at snit adore today we are going to discuss about state machines so in this session session we are covering all aspects of state machines this comes under module 5 of digital electronics and logic design for so triple students under ktu the objective of this session is to familiarize states state tables state diagrams and state machines now let's see what is a state machine state machine is another type of sequential circuit it is a combination of combination logic and storage it remembers states it changes the output based on the input and the current state now what is the state state of the system is a snapshot of all the relevant elements of the system at the moment snapshot is taken for example in case of a basketball game what are the relevant elements we can see all the relevant elements on a scoreboard on the scoreboard we can see number of points time remaining position etc all these can be considered as state of the basketball game similarly for a circuit also we can define states of that circuit for the circuit in state nu parnala aa circuit nu aithe connected aithulla ella relevant elements neyum nammle state nanu parayunnathu so this is a state machine in state machine there is a combination circuit and a memory it's a combination of combination of circuit and a memory for a state machine there is an input and a output so this all together constitute a state machine now let's look into state tables and state diagrams state tables and state diagrams are also used to represent Uh, different aspects of the circuit in this model the effect of all previous inputs on the output is represented by the state of the circuit the output of the circuit at any time depends on the current state and the input these also determine the next state of the circuit the relationship that exists among input output present state and the next state can be specified by the state table of state diagram so state table and state diagram are the diagrammatic representation or graphical representation of all the relevant information about a circuit such as input output present state next state etc so state table lum state diagramathilum namukku inputs outputs present state next state idu thamilulla ella relationship ini namlu represent cheyan vendiyana state tables um state diagrams um veikkunnathu now what is a state table the state table represent the sequential circuit consist of three section labeled the present state next state and the output the present state designate the state of the flip flop before the occurrence of the clock pulse the next state shows the state of the flip flop after the clock pulse and the output section lists the value of the output variable during the present state so in the state table as we already discussed we are representing present state next state output input etc all things are represented on a state table in the state table we are representing present state present state is present, uh, is the state of the circuit before the clock is applied nammala or circuit la clock ubeyikunnundu aa clock ubeyikunna clock apply cheyyanenu munbulla state neyana present state nu parayunnathu clock apply cheyidane sheshamulla state neyana next state nu parayunnathu now what is output output is the final output of the circuit when the present state is present in the circuit that is before applying the clock what is the output of the circuit that is represented by the output so in the state table we are representing present state next state and output and the changes in all these values according to inputs this is an example of a state table here we can see present state next state 
inputs and output present state is represented like this next state ipo ivide namukku rendu input undu x x nu parna oru variable aanu input aa input nu rendu values edukkam onnikil 0 allengil 1 so we can define the next state for x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 now we can find out the outputs for all these conditions so in the state table we are representing present state next state and output like this so this is the example of a state table next we will look into state diagram state diagram is another graphical representation we are using state tables, state diagrams, etc. for representing the states of a circuit. States, uh, next state, present state, input, output, etc. are represented, uh, representing in this state table as well as in state diagram. Now, we will look what is state diagram. This is an example of state diagram. In addition to graphical representation of tables or equations, flip-flop can be also represented by a state diagram. In this diagram, a state is represented by a circle and transition between state is indicated by director lines connecting the circles. The binary number inside the circle identifies the state of the circle represents. The director line are labeled with the two binary numbers separated by a slash. The input value that causes the state transition is, the, is labeled the first. The number after the slash gives the value of the output. So, this is the state diagram. In the state diagram, there is a value inside the circle. This value shows the states. Value inside the circle shows the states. So, here there are four states, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Four states are there. They are represented inside the circles. Now, the relation between the states are represented by directed lines or arcs like this. The relation between states are represented by directed lines or arcs. So we can see directed lines as well as arcs here. Even the states represent the circles which are states in Tamil relation represent the directed lines arcs vechittana now ee arc il namukku or value kaanan pattum slash it separate cheyidekkana value so there are two values separated by a slash the first number represents the input value and the second number after the slash represents the output value so this is the diagrammatic representations of state the states are represented by circles States are interconnected with the director lines or arcs. On that director lines and arcs, there are two values separated by a slash. The first number represents the input and the number after the slash represents the output. So this is the state diagram. Now, let's look into an example of state diagram. Here, there are four states 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 we can see this 0 0 state from this 0 0 we can see from 0 0 there are two transitions this one and uh, this one so how we can define these transitions the present state is 0 0 and next state is 0 1 when input is 1 so when input is 1 present state 0 0 and after the clock the next state will be 0 1 and the output will be 0 and when the present state is 0 0 if the input is 0 then next state will also be 0 0 and output will be 0 the present state when the present state is 0 0 and input is 0 then the next state will be 0 0 itself and the output will be 0 look at this 
when the present state is 1 1 and input is 0 then next state is 1 0 and output is 0 when present state is 1 1 and input is 1 then next state is 1 1 and output is 0 like that we can represent all the states all the present states all the next state and all the relationship between the states like this so this is an example of state diagram now let's look another example this is a circuit diagram this circuit include two flip-flops flip-flop one and flip-flop two so the input of flip-flop one is d1 and input of flip-flop two is d2 output of flip-flop one is q1 and output of flip-flop two is q2 now watch this circuit the final output of this circuit is z and there is another input the input direct input to the circuit that is x so how we can explain this circuit this circuit it is a combination of flip-flop and a combinational circuit because it includes gates also so this is a combination of flip-flops and a gates there is a direct input x there are two flip-flops flip-flop 1 and flip-flop 2 flip-flop 1 with our input d1 and output q1 flip-flop 2 with the input d2 and output q2 the final output of this circuit is z now how we can represent this circuit using its states by looking this circuit we can write the equations of z d1 and d2 z we can see that it is we get z when we add x as well as q1 so x into q1 is equal to z so z equation z is equal to x into q1 d1 find the equation of d1 d1 can be the combination of x bar plus q1 d2 is equal to x into q2 bar plus x bar into q1 bar this is the equation representing z d1 and d2 now what is x x is the direct input q1 output of first flip flop q2 output of second flip flop so assume cheyana present state 0 0 yana that is q1 q2 0 0 yana input 0 yana so we are assuming that q1 is equal to q2 is equal to 0 0 q1 is equal to q2 is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 applying all these values in these equations we can find out z d1 and d2 so z is equal to 0 d1 is equal to 1 and d2 is equal to 1 thus we will get the next state of the circuit as 1 1 and output of the circuit as Zero. But if the present state is 0, 0 and the same equation is D1, D2 is certain. And the equation which is the D1, D2 is the next state. Equation which is the Z is output. So present state which is the output and get to next state and get to input and the assume is 0. And we will get the values which we will get the state diagram, state table and represent the same. Another example is let q1 q2 is equal to 0 0 x is equal to 1 we will consider that x is equal to 0 in the next, the next example we are considering x is equal to 1 in that case we will get z is equal to 0 so like this we can find out all the present states all the next states all the outputs etc and we can represent that by using state diagrams and state tables so when we find out all the present states all the next state and all the outputs the state table will be like this 
and the straight diagram will be like this. Now we will see the examples of some straight diagrams. This is the straight diagram for SR flop. SR flop in the straight diagram. No ka. Q is equal to zero. Circle is equal to present state. Present state is zero. Anna. S is equal to R is equal to zero. P is equal to zero. R is equal to zero. Anna girl. Next state and that is equal. E state and that is no change. Anna. Like S is equal to zero. R is equal to zero. Anna girl. No change. Anna. So next state will also be zero. But Q is equal to zero. That present state is zero. Anna. S is equal to R is equal to zero. Anna girl. Next state, next state आना नमला arrow वच्चा mark केरे देखने में. Next state zero दन आए रखे. Now the present state is zero. S is equal to R, S is equal to one and R is equal to zero. P is equal to one आऊँ मब set आना state. So set आऊँ मब output one आऊँ. So the next state will be one. Like this. इनी present state one ना. S is equal to R is equal to zero. But no change on it. So, 1 will then make it. Present state 1. S is equal to R is equal to 0, 1. Now, R on 1. That is a reset state. So, the next state will be 0. So, we will mark it by a direct line like this. So, this diagram represents the state diagram of SR flip-flop. Now, next straight diagram shows the straight diagram of JK flop. It is similar to that of SR flop. Next is the straight diagram for D flip flop. And this one is the straight diagram for T flip flop. For T flip flop, we know that T is equal to 1, 9, but dog loud. T is equal to 0, but no change. So, present state is 0 and T is equal to 0. T is equal to 0, no change. So, 0 will then be present state 0 and T is equal to 1 and there will be a toggle. So, next state will be 1. Q is equal to 1 and T is equal to 0 and no change. So, like this. Q is equal to 1 and T is equal to 1 and there will be a toggle and it can be represented by this line. Like this. Next, we will discuss about state reduction. What is the necessity of state reduction? Actually, uh, we are studying a state patient. It is a combination of sequential circuit as well as combination circuit as well as memory. So, it is a sequential circuit awakened and a combination circuit awakened and the memory you see. So, in order to reduce the complexity and number of gates, number of flops, etc., we can use state reduction. Uh, we already studied about state table. On the state table, there are present states, next state, etc. So, if possible, we can reduce the states in the state table so that the complexity of the circuit will be get reduced. The process of eliminating equivalent or redundant states from the state table is known as state reduction. So, for the state table, we will consider that the similar to the equivalent to the states where the non-dangle, we can reduce that. We will see with an example later. This is the example. Here we can see a state table. By observing this table like this, we can see can you see any similarity in any states? Yes. We can see A for state A, present state A. Next state is B. Here next state is C. Output is 1 and output is 0. So in case of F, for x is equal to 0, B. x is equal to 1, C. Output is x is equal to 0, 1. Output for x is equal to 1 is 0. So, A and F are C. It's equivalent. So, this redundant values, we can remove one. We can remove either A or F. 
അപ്പം ഈ സ്ട്രീറ്റ് ടൈപ്പിൽ നിന്ന് നമുക്ക് സിമിലർ ആയിട്ടുള്ള രണ്ട് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് എയും എഫും ഇതിൽ നിന്ന് ഒന്നുകിൽ എ നമുക്ക് റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എഫ് റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യാം സപ്പോസ് നമ്മൾ എഫ് ആണ് റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്നതെങ്കിൽ ഈ സ്റ്റേപ്പിൾ ഈ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ടേബിളിൽ എവിടെയൊക്കെയാണ് എഫ് വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് ഇവിടെ എഫ് ഉണ്ട് ഇവിടെ എഫ് ഉണ്ട് ഈ എഫ് മസ്റ്റ് ബി റീപ്ലേസ്ഡ് വിത്ത് എ അപ്പം ഈ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ടേബിളിൽ എയും എഫും സിമിലർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ആണ് സോ നമ്മൾ എഫിനെ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ എഫിനെ നമുക്ക് റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യാം പിന്നെ ഈ ടേബിളിൽ വരുന്ന എഫിനെ എല്ലാം എ വെച്ച് റീപ്ലേസ് ചെയ്യുകയും കൂടെ വേണം സോ ഇത് ഷോൺ ഇൻ ദ കമ്മിങ് സെഷൻ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ടേബിൾ ആഫ്റ്റർ റിമൂവൽ ഓഫ് എഫ് അപ്പം ഇവിടെ ഈ കഴിഞ്ഞ എഫ് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു എഫിനെ നമ്മൾ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്തു എഫിനെ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ എഫ് വന്നിടത്തെല്ലാം നമ്മൾ എ വെച്ച് റീപ്ലേസ് ചെയ്തു കാരണം ഇനി നമ്മൾ എഫ് ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നില്ല എ എഫിന് പകരം എന്ത് ഉപയോഗിക്കാം എ ഉപയോഗിക്കാം സോ ദ അപ്ഡേറ്റഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ടേബിൾ വിൽ ബി ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് നൗ യു കെൻ വി കെൻ ലുക്ക് വെദർ വി കെൻ റിമൂവ് എനി അതർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സോ ഹിയർ വി കെൻ റിമൂവ് ഇ ഓൾസോ So, after removal of E, the state table will be like this. Now, state assignment. In state assignment, we are assigning some values to the states. For a circuit having two internal states, one flip flop is needed for implementation two states undengila two internal states undengila zero yum one um irike ma states aa states ne namukku store cheyan vendi one flip flop mari a circuit having three or four internal states see how to use two flip flops so two flip flops is vendi ടു ഫ്ലിപ് ഫ്ലോപ്സ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ത്രീ ഓർ ഫോർ ഇൻറ്റേണൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് സോ സീറോ 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 വൺ വൺ സീറോ വൺ വൺ സോ ടു ഫ്ലിപ് ഫ്ലോപ്സ് ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ്ഡ് ഒരു സർക്കിൾ വിത്ത് ഫൈവ് ഓർ എയ്റ്റ് ഇൻറ്റേണൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി റെപ്രസെൻറ്റഡ് ബൈ ത്രീ ഫ്ലിപ് ഫ്ലോപ്സ് ത്രീ ഫ്ലിപ് ഫ്ലോപ്സ് വെച്ച് നമുക്ക് എയ്റ്റ് ഇൻറ്റേണൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സിനെ വരെ മാർക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും സീറോ 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 വൺ അങ്ങനെ സെവൻ വരെ വൺ 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 വരെ ഉള്ള സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സിനെ നമുക്ക് ത്രീ ഫ്ലിപ് ഫ്ലോപ്സ് വെച്ച് ഇംപ്ലിമെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് അസൈൻമെൻറ്റ് സപ്പോസ് വി ആർ കൺസിഡറിങ് ഫോർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് സീറോ 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 വൺ 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 സീറോ ഫോർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് വി കെൻ ലേബൽ ദിസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് വി കെൻ ലേബൽ ദിസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് വിത്ത് സം ആൽഫബെറ്റ്സ് സം നമ്പേഴ്സ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് വി കെൻ ലേബൽ ദിസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് now after this labeling or oh, uh, this labeling is known as assigning assigning states so after assignment it will be like this. so here present state is 1 next state is 2 1 represents 0 0 2 represents 0 1 3 represents 1 1 4 represents 1 0 it is given the previous line so whenever there is zero zero we can represent that using one whenever there is zero one we can represent that by two whenever there is one one we can represent that by three whenever there is one zero we can represent that by four so present state is one next state is two and when input is x2 the next state is one present state is 2 when input is x1 next state is 3 when input is x2 next state is 1 when present state is 3 when input is x1 next state is 4 when input is x2 next state is 1 when present state is 4 when next state is x1 so when input is x1 next state is 4 when input is x2 next state is 1 so it will be like this by using states we can represent it as for instead of 1 0 0 we 
instead of 2 0 1 instead of 3 1 1 instead of 4 1 0 so we can draw the state table like this so today we discussed about states state diagrams state tables state reduction state assignment thus everything about the basic elements of a state machine so by using all this we are implementing the state machine sample of previous university question till we this prepare the state table excitation table and excitation table for the sequential machine shown below use t flip flop this is a sample question hope you all understood the topic the assignment question related to this is draw the state table and the state diagram of a serial binary adder for any queries please contact lakshmi and i at replace an it at gmail.com Thank you.